in this video let's talk about another topic in the continuation of the chapter itself the topic is named as tangents and normals so now tangent word is not new to you in order to understand tangents and normals better let's first see this diagram herein we have a cartesian plane i have actually considered only the first quadrant you can always consider the whole of the cartesian plane or cartesian system it has a line which is making an angle of theta in the anti clockwise direction with the x axis now let me know what do you mean by slope of this line or what do you mean by the gradient of this line this term also you have studied in your class 11 so the gradient of this line or the slope would be what the angle that this line makes with the x axis in the anti clockwise direction positive direction of the x axis in the anti clockwise direction the angle that is making you have to just take the tan of it so slope of the line would be nothing but the tan theta itself this we already know now slope is very important in consideration to what in consideration to the tangents and normals you should also know that the slope is denoted by m usually right and if i say that my given line is what is parallel to x axis for parallel i am just making these two parallel lines please understand this yourself so if my line is parallel to x axis its slope is going to be what if the line is parallel to x axis the angle that it is going to make with the positive direction of x axis is going to be zero so the slope is going to be nothing but zero which is what zero is its m or i directly write here that what that line is parallel to x axis so slope of line which is parallel to x axis is zero right and similarly slope of line that is parallel to y axis or slope of line which is perpendicular to x axis means the angle is theta with x axis so the slope is nothing but 1 upon 0 this all is the preliminaries basically what all things you have studied earlier which will help you to understand tangents and normals other thing you had studied about the condition of perpendicularity right condition of perpendicularity was what if i write it like this in short form that if there are two lines they have the slope as say m1 and m2 then they are perpendicular to each other means m1 multiplied by m2 is equal to minus 1 this is very important this we are going to use in tangents and normals when you have all this knowledge and you know that the equation of this line can be found out as y is equal to mx plus c or if you have two points then the line would be given by y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 and so on so after the knowledge of this after the knowledge of all of this let's move to this diagram you see here we have a curve and the curve is named as y is equal to fx then this curve has a tangent at point r x1 comma y1 you see this is a tangent and there is also a normal to this tangent means the angle between the normal and the tangent as it suggests by the name is 90 degree and this is a cartesian plane the tangent makes an angle of psi with the positive direction of the x axis now again now again into picture comes that the tangent is also like a line only and the line makes an angle of psi so what is the slope of this line so dy by dx at point r is nothing but tan psi and that is nothing but the slope or m right next supposedly two conditions we are going to take so different cases we are going to take let's take the case number 1 if the tangent is parallel to the x axis that means the tangent is not like that it is like that that means the curve is even like that right so the curve is also like y is equal to x square curve the tangent is parallel to the x axis then the psi would be what it would be zero so tan psi is also zero so if the tangent is parallel to x axis i would be saying that my m is zero right now next case is tangent is parallel to y axis if the tangent is parallel to y axis that means tangent would be somewhat like this it would be a vertical one with 90 degree angle with the positive direction of the x axis so 90 degree angle means what that tan psi should be what it should be nothing but m and m would be 1 by 0 but you have to take care that m we usually take as dy by dx right so let's write it in the terms of dy by dx that is going to be more clear so i say that here my dy by dx is 0 
but here my dy by dx is 1 by 0. So, if my dy by dx is 1 by 0, that means what? That means my dx by dy is going to be 0. So, that is very important that in such questions you are going to differentiate with respect to y and these two are the final results. That here in the second part my dx by dy is 0 where in the first case dy by gx is 0, right? The next thing into consideration, this is all about the tangent. Here it is the tangent and the tangent considered only. But what about the normal? The normal is perpendicular to the tangent and you have the condition of perpendicularity that m1, m2 is equal to minus 1. So that means what? That means the normal that I am going to consider, the normal has slope what? So the slope of the normal, slope of normal is equal to minus 1 upon slope of tangent. And how and why has this come? That is very clear by the condition of perpendicularity. Only then the slope of tangent and normal would multiply and give me minus 1. So that means what? The slope of normal is such that it has to be taken with the multiplication and taken with the multiplication means what? The slope of the normal should be such that it should be multiplied with the slope of the tangent and you should get minus 1. So that is all about the tangents and normals. Some questions in the next videos will make topic more clear. But before that, you have to revise the concepts of the slope of a line from class 11th.